Hi, so today what we're going to talk about is conversion script, how it helps us, how it works. Out here it says manage conversion scripts. It basically helps you once you have your conversion script in place, it helps you to you know, track traffics, your leads, your sales, your confirmed customers, and you know, it says you can use this conversion script to track your website visitors, how many visitors you have, you had and this is called conversion tracking to calculate your return for using the app link wizard there are basically two ways to track conversion with the pixels standard events which are predefined lead or sale then there are custom events if our predefined standard events aren't suitable for your needs you can track your own custom events so how we're going to do about this how we're going to track these i'm going to show you in a while so first of all what we're going to do is we're going to go to click funnels the reason why i use click funnels because this is test right now that i'm going to show you and we use click funnel because of all this so when you when we go to click funnel there are basically in the main page you would see there are four pages one is the opt-in page second sales order form and then the final page which is order confirmation when you click an opt-in page, the squeeze page, it would take you to this particular page out here that would be showing something like this. It's taking a little time. Yes, this is my brand. This is my company's page. For example, I just give that example. And the person would need to add the email out here. Then when you go to the sales page, when the person submits, the, the person would be you know, redirected to the sales page. While I click on the sales page, it opens up. So it's going to look something like this, where the person, where you know that, okay, when the person submits the email, that's a lead that you are getting. And then when the person, after submitting, the person is navigated to this particular page where it says, you know, click here to order now. So if the person wants to buy it, the person would need to click here in order to submit the details. And that would be like, almost a confirmed lead that you would be getting then the person would be redirected to the order form page and this is how the order form page would look like the person would need to submit their credential out here the credential would be the credit card expiry date the cvv number and then it takes you to the very last page that would be the order confirmation page by then you know that you have a genuine lead that is interested and you're it would tell the person, okay, the price the person is paying, and then it says, congrats, order complete, thank you, and that's how it works. So I'm going to show you how these things work. So now when I come back to my Link Wizard platform, I would need to go to settings from your click on conversion script. Then I would need to install the conversion script. So I would click on install conversion script copy this conversion script which is the library file go to my click funnels from here i would go to the settings come here where it says hit tracking code paste it here come right at the bottom of the page save and update setting once this is done i would go back to my link wizard platform click on the second tab it says manage the track events here and it says conversion events so i'm going to click on that and then i would need to create a custom event so let's say i'm going to go ahead and put any name out there of my choice sales chris and i'm going to add event so once that is done i'm going to click here and here it comes. So I'm going to copy this, go back to click funnels. The first opt-in page, which says squeeze page, that's the opt-in page. I'm going to click on edit page. Once I do that, I need to come to the setting on the left hand corner. I'm going to click on tracking code, go to footer and paste it here cross this off save it that's the traffic that I'm creating and now I'm going to just go ahead exit from that page then I would need to come back to my conversion script and I would need to copy this lead script out here 
go back to my click funnel come to the second page which is the sales page edit that click on the edit page option given out there go to the setting and follow the same procedure click on tracking code click on the footer and I'm going to paste this here once I do that I'm going to come back and I would need to create another event so I would say confirmed sale add event I'm going to click on this copy this go back to the click funnel click on the auto form page edit page follow the same procedure go to the tracking code from the setting go to the footer section and just save this exit from here now let's get back to link wizard platform and click on the sales script now I have put my dollar value for my product as one so that's you know the sales value so if I go ahead and put a two out here and update the sales value it shows us two now I'll, I'll go ahead and copy this go back to my click funnel the last page that is there the order confirmation page I'm going to edit the page from your and then I'm going to go to setting click on the tracking code go to the footer and here I have updated as dollar two for the product once that is saved I'm going to go back go to my first page which is the opt-in page now here's the link that has been created now this looks lengthy link okay it doesn't seem very attractive and it's such a lengthy link for me to even remember yet I'm going to go ahead and copy this link go to my link wizard page and I'm going to go ahead and create a short link and put this here and create a short link I'm going to come back to my link wizard go to the dashboard and as you can see my short link has been created and the number of clicks out here it shows zero everything is zero now when I come right at the bottom of the page and click on conversion status it it is just blank there are no conversion status yet so obviously it would show blank now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy this link and I'm just going to open a fresh window paste this link out here this is my redirection page it takes me to my product page now when I go back to my link wizard and do a refresh out here it says one click for today and the total click is one it will give you all the other information like for example which operating system was used to get this click from where did you exactly get the click or the browser status referring channel redirect and so when I come right at the bottom of the page and I click on conversion status it is going to show me sales Chris that was one total count hundred conversion ratio hundred percent unique count one and there is no sale so that is not applicable right now unique conversion ratio is hundred now I'll just go back to that particular you know the product page and I'm going to add an email ID out there and I'll submit that so once I submit it takes me to this page let's see what happens in the link wizard platform I'll just update you know, refresh it and come back to the conversion status click on that it says there is one lead which means the person who have entered their email ID that person has shown some interest in my product and that's a sort of confirmed customer that I'm getting a confirmed lead that I'm getting who would like to go ahead and buy this product from me and would like to enter give their account credentials in order to buy the products because they've already given us the email ID now if I go ahead and click on 
click here to order now and let me just put a test card number and show you how it works I'll just go ahead and order and get instant access once I do that just refresh this page come back to the conversion status and you see it it just gives me because we had changed the dollar amount out there from one to two for the product so the rate it says two out here there is a sale that is like one count hundred percent conversion ratio unique count hundred percent conversion ratio out here and here is the total sale for two and this is how conversion script works this also helps you to track your solo vendors activity on on each of your website you know how much of unique counts you're trying to get you what is the conversion ratio how are they working for you how many traffics you're trying to get you what is the traffic count how many leads are you getting how many confirmed customers are you getting how many confirmed leads and how many you know all these total counts and all that comes in conversion status conversion script helps you with all these so you can also track your solo vendor through this i would explain to you about solo vendors in a later video till then thank you this was all about conversion script in case you have any concern you can always get back to our support team